All right, boys, we're back in the we're back in the room with the rain and all that shit. And this gonna be another one of those talk videos. And today, I really just want to talk about Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I don't know if you guys have seen that shit yet. It's been everywhere. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, you probably seen at least an ad for it. You probably seen people talking about it. At least you probably hopped on Netflix and you probably seen it on the trending, bro. This shit is so fucking good it is it is such a good show from everything about it from the music the the references to cyberpunk that they make uh because you know it's set within the cyberpunk universe and all the references and shit that you'll get like if you played the game the story is really fucking good it's just everything just everything about it just makes it at minimum a 9 out of 10 anime I'm not gonna say it's perfect. I'm not gonna say it's like a perfect anime, like a 10 out of 10, but it's definitely a nine, a nine, 9.5 out of 10. That shit is fucking amazing. And if you haven't seen it already, I strongly recommend that you do go watch that shit. Cause for me, I, I haven't been watching anime as much as I used to, probably like, I wanna say maybe two, three years ago. Like I'm not constantly on it and all that stuff. But for me to see something like cyberpunk um get an anime i was like oh that's interesting and then it was it's done by trigger and i don't know if you guys know the stuff that trigger's done i probably like pop it up on the screen right now but for all the stuff that trigger's done it's just they're all works of art as well so it's like okay at least visually this shit is gonna be amazing but the whole world that they crafted and the story that they told it just it really just put a smile on your face like actually getting to see all of it because personally i didn't like cyberpunk i didn't like cyberpunk on release um i still haven't gone back and played it since it's gotten all the updates and stuff this really makes me want to go back and experience because i do enjoy the universe of cyberpunk i enjoy it a lot and i enjoy i like the story they were trying to tell but the gameplay just wasn't there for me so for this to literally just be that like, you know it's still the cyberpunk universe it's still telling the story the uh, you know the stories uh, of that universe and stuff and for me to like see it on the big screen like you know for it just to be done this well that shit's just so fucking great and it's it's good too because if you haven't played the game you don't need to worry about being like oh man i didn't play the game so i'm not gonna understand this i'm not gonna understand that it's not gonna be like that you don't need to play the game to understand the story because it's a completely separate story that's like its own thing uh it's I, i'm not sure about timeline wise as far as like how it works but it's its own separate story that doesn't have to uh that doesn't involve the main the main cast from the from 2077 so for this you can just go in just watch it you obviously won't understand some of the references and stuff or rather well, references but like the things that are like in the game or like the lingo that they speak in and things like that like obviously you're not going to understand that off the rip but it's 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 all good because you'll you'll get the you'll get the whole experience either way as far as the story for edge runners it basically follows the main character david martinez and his journey through through the world uh it starts with him and his mom and you know him going to school and you know the whole ep the whole first episode goes over that whole thing and, you know introduce you to him and you know his problems and that sort of thing i'm not gonna go too much into detail over uh in the stories i don't want to spoil anything but every episode in and out like from beginning to end i was just completely captivated and the moment the episode ends it ends on some cliffhanger every episode ends on some type of cliffhanger that's just like bro i gotta watch the next one like I, I just sat there i binged the whole thing in one night i was like bro i have to see what the fucking next thing is and it just kept me going it was a roller coaster the whole show was just a roller coaster of emotions and i just fucking enjoyed it from beginning to end story isn't perfect it's not perfect by any means but it it is really fucking interesting I really do i really do hope that they expand upon and in if they continue this like you know the edge runners whether it be called edge runners or they call it something else i hope they continue to 
you know tell more stories like this in cyberpunk because they continue it just like how they did edge runners and you know uh even if they do do like some form of season two or you know i hope that it's a completely different story and go that route and just because there's so much that they could tell in this universe there's still so many stories that they could tell that i hope they continue with it and i'm glad to see that it's getting such a positive reception and it's just watching this it does make me hopeful for like the genshin impact adaptation too i don't know if you guys seen it by the time I'm recording this um, i think it's like a couple hours ago genshin announced that they was going to be working with you foldable or however you pronounce it that they're going to be working on the well you foldable is going to be working on the genshin anime so it's confirmed they're actually getting the anime and it just makes me really hopeful that that anime because it's made by the same people that made fate and that's one of my top three personal uh favorite animes so for them to be working on genshin and then for this to happen and then like all the all the other like gaming stuff that's came out like fucking sonic and witcher arcane this um cyberpunk and then genshin it's just like for all these media for all these games taken and turned into like the big screen form it just makes me excited to see like just how much more uh comes out and like you know gets adapted to the big screen because it's just it's really cool to see the shit and cyberpunk cyberpunk was really fucking dope the fucking music in it bro oh my god i really cannot get the song out of my head and everywhere i go on twitter people are posting about it it's everywhere bro that is so fucking good bro it's so fucking good and i'm recording this like a couple uh not a couple but like two days after watching it because i'm recording this in the time that before i'm leaving and all that stuff and this is just one of the videos i wanted to post as well so yeah go watch cyberpunk edge runners that shit hard